Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and behind me is my solar trailer, which I want to give you a tour of. And I know your first question, yes, it can be towed by an electric vehicle. EVs tow great. And no, it was not designed to be towed by an EV to give it infinite range. Uh, this is actually, more than anything, a portable off-grid solar demonstration. I've taken it out to a number of different uh, public and educational events to teach people about solar, but it would also be good to have just in an emergency. And in fact, uh, I'm shooting this today, even though it's not great solar weather. Hopefully we're keeping wind off the microphone here uh, because tomorrow we're gonna tow this up north to my friend's off-grid property where he's sick of having to run a generator all the time and would instead love to have some solar. So for the trailer itself, uh, this is a six foot by 12 foot utility trailer. It started its life as a pop-up camping trailer. Uh, the previous owner had converted it to essentially just a flatbed utility trailer with a short rail all the way around on it. Up in front, we have your typical two inch ball, safety chains, jack, and wiring harness. Right down the middle is a recycled truck toolbox on the front. We have two duplex electric outlets. The solar comes in up and under some holes drilled in here with some strain reliefs for the one side solar and the other side of the solar and it combines inside the box. The trailer already had the steel rail on it and when I saw this box I checked this measurement and it was pretty much just perfect so I could run some bolts through this part of the box down into the railing and then through the floor uh, into the wood deck on the back of the trailer here. The solar panels themselves are designed to move almost a 180 degrees. And the reason for that is that they can be locked in place vertical uh, inside the trailer for transport, but they can also be locked at various angles depending on where the sun is and the orientation of the trailer. Just uses a big pin like this, goes through and locks into place. The solar panels are held up by inch and a half by three inch steel C-channel. Those are about half the height of the solar panels. At the top of that C-channel, I welded a steel plate, placed a bearing on there that's bolted down. Through the bearing is a bolt, a steel plate, a pipe coupler, and then two inch steel pipe. And then you'll see this plate, since it's welded onto the steel pipe, how those holes rotate through as this spins. And then that can be held in place by a pin here. So here you can see how that rotates. There's plenty of room for the wires there to flex, and then it can be locked into whatever position we want it to. To actually hold the solar panels in place, uh, I've got this two inch pipe going across here, and then we've got some flat steel kind of a strap that both solar panels connect to. We're using stainless steel hardware so we don't have to deal with rust. And then some big U-bolts that connect the pipe to those flat plates. In terms of wire management, I used stainless steel clips and zip ties to keep all the wiring in place. Right here might actually be the best place to see exactly how this all works. This is the two inch pipe two inch pipe coupler, and then a flat plate that's welded on the end of that. And then before I welded that, I drilled a hole and I welded a bolt through here, and then that goes into the bearing. So this whole thing is held up by that bolt and bearing, which is held up by this uh, C-channel pillar. Now you can just see how that rotates like that. I found what works best for this are these great big pins with that nice solid handle uh, long enough to go all the way through this cross piece. There's a hole here and then it also goes through the back. So we've got two points of contact uh, through the C channel and then one point of contact uh, through the plate. And then of course we have the same thing at the other end of the pipe. Another thing that I really wanted is Part of this whole system was just that it was a uh, human scale. I wanted one person to be able to handle all this by themselves, 
not need a winch or power equipment or anything like that. Uh, these solar panels are like 40 or 50 pounds each, um, but it's balanced. So one person can very easily, confidently move this. No issues at all. On the back, there wasn't that cross rail the way there is in front. So I did use some angle iron diagonally uh, as uh, support uh, for the rear uprights. The solar panels are 250 watts each, so that's 750 watts per side or 1,500 watts for both sides together. Of course, that's theoretical, good sun, everything else. So that's not what you're normally going to be producing, but in theory, it's capable of 1,500 watts. So there were a couple different reasons why I used this truck toolbox. And one of them is the shape is pretty good. Kind of long and skinny actually really suits this. Watch how the solar panels exactly move past the toolbox like that. Pretty much just perfect for this setup. One of the nice things on this truck toolbox is it is lockable. Uh, because the entire thing is conductive, it's very easy to ground and just have it be one big electrical enclosure. It's got a handle on both ends and either handle opens it up and it's got some little tiny uh, gas lifts there as well. Inside, we've got our solar panels coming in. We've got these nice little strain relief connectors. They come in through a DC circuit breaker. The DC circuit breaker goes to our Outback FlexMax 80. This is the solar charge controller. Uh, it's a little bit overkill in terms of how much current it can handle, uh, but what's nice is it is designed for uh, about 150 volts DC, uh, so it's the appropriate voltage range, and it's MPPT, so even though we've got a 48 volt battery pack over there. Um, if we're bringing in 100 volts, we essentially have double the voltage that we need. And so what the MPPT does is it will convert between voltage and current. So essentially it'll double the current at half the voltage for charging our battery pack. Right here is uh, just a junction box. That's where kind of everything comes together. And down here, this is a recycled uh, UPS. It's a rack mount 48 volt UPS, the sort of thing you might find in a server room. Uh, a UPS is really an inverter and a battery charger uh, built together as one. And then the battery is actually seven Nissan Leaf electric car uh, modules. Uh, so that's a little bit more than 48 volts, but it's still within the range of what this can handle and lots of programmable abilities in our solar charge controller so it all works together. Uh, of course, with the battery, there's also a fuse in there. Uh, we have a quick disconnect for being able to hook up and remove it. Uh, the other thing is with our UPS, that can run off wall power. So let's say we had a generator uh, we've got a cord here, and I have that hooked up to a power inlet. So back here, you could just run an extension cord from house power, or if you have a generator or something, run power in there, and then the UPS would charge the battery instead of the solar. So that's good if you've got wall power, or the batteries are run down, or however else you'd want to use that. There is a little bit extra space in here, so uh, if a person wanted a few accessories or something, a little room to throw them in here. On the side here, I've got this plank going across, and then it's bolted down to the uprights uh, with galvanized carriage bolts. Uh, back here on one of the steel uprights, I also welded a plate onto there as an end point for that to go into. Basically what this board does is it gives a solid point of contact for when the solar is folded up so that this can be pinned to this board to prevent uh, vibration while going down the road. You know, I really need some way to pin this in place for transport just so it's not like vibrating around like that. And I can lock it in place, but it could still flex. And 
No joke, I found the easiest solution was just a three inch spring clamp. There's all sorts of other ways I could have done this, but it really works amazingly well just to put a nice big three inch clamp on here and no vibration, that thing's going nowhere. When I originally got the trailer, it had some really small wheels on it. I think those were eight inch rims and I swapped them out for some 12 inch rims. Uh, bigger wheels going down the road means uh, less wear and tear on the bearings and they generally ride better. So there you go, it's about 1500 watts of solar panels. Uh, the battery originally would have been like 3.5 kilowatt hour, but those are really old cells. Those were from a 2012 Nissan Leaf. Uh, so those are like 14 year old batteries now. So they're probably derated to about half. Uh, so probably looking at something like Oh, one and three quarter kilowatt hours, something like that. Probably the weakest point in the system right now is just battery capacity, but it could really easily be swapped out for any 48 volt battery, even like going to Walmart and buying four 12 volt deep cycles. The entire project was probably around $2,000 altogether. Uh, trailer was like 500 bucks. Uh, the solar charge inverter, you know, with tax and shipping and everything was uh, in kind of the same price range. Solar panels were all used. Uh, the inverter is 2200 watts, 120 volt. Uh, and as I showed you, you can also charge it from the wall or the generator. So it's not a tremendous amount of power. Basically, it's like one really solid circuit, which is certainly plenty to run refrigerator, freezer, various things like that. Uh, it'll run a air conditioner uh, window unit, or if you're just running things like, you know, an exhaust fan and some LED lighting, you know, it'll run for a very long time doing that. And of course, the entire thing is portable, can be dragged off to uh, your off-grid pop property up north somewhere, which is exactly what we're going to do next. If you have any other questions, please check the video description um, as I can't re-edit the video, but I can always add to the video description. If you have any questions, if I see people asking a lot of the certain thing, I'll just add it to the video description there. I hope you like these videos and until next time, stay charged up. I also have a video playlist of how I built the solar trailer step-by-step. -step. You might also be interested in my videos on electric vehicles, renewable energy, DIY, and more. So make sure to check those out on this YouTube channel.